Usually going to a grand piano concert is one of the least thrilling things you can do. <laughs> grand Piano was directed by Eugenio Mira. It stars Elijah Wood and John Cusack. And it pretty much tells the story of this concert pianist who Five years ago, he majorly screwed up this piece. He was absolutely humiliated and like embarrassed beyond belief. But after his mentor dies, he comes back to do like a concert in his memory. And about a few songs in, he notices in his songbook written the words, one wrong note and I'll kill you. Or one wrong note and you die, I believe, was the actual words. Eventually he gets an earpiece and he starts talking to this assassin who's John Cusack. And things really do get interesting. I didn't really hear much about this movie. I literally heard one mention of it. I looked it up. I thought it looked interesting. And so I watched it like Nymphomaniac, which I'm posting a review for, I think, today as well. It, um... It's on video on demand. It's an indie movie. It actually came out a while back, I think, but I never even got around to it. And it was really, really reminiscent of these old thrillers, like Hitchcock was what I, I saw a lot of Hitchcock in there. A lot of people also mentioned Brian De Palma. I didn't see much in there, but I could understand what they were going for. But I saw a lot of Hitchcock. This is really, really, it's short. It's only about like, I think if you take away the credits, it's only, and like the opening credits and the end credits, I think it's like 80 minutes long. It's short, which is good because if it was much longer, it wouldn't really be well. But actually, I changed my mind because I actually think it should have been longer. I just remembered. Talk about that later. Elijah Wood was very, very good. I don't see him in many things, like aside from Lord of the Rings and Sin City, I actually can't really name the many things I've seen him in. He was very, very good. He had to pretty much carry the entire movie. The camera was almost constantly on him. And he had to just be doing all these things at the same time. And it was really, really interesting to watch. He played a really good, his scared expression was on pretty much the entire time and it worked out really well. John Cusack, even though he's off screen for pretty much the entirety of the movie, was also very good. His voice was threatening. He knew what to emphasize to make it sound mad, what to make it sound like cool, but like threat is like really good voice acting on his part. And it's written really, really well. Like it's tense, the score and the grand piano, the whole symphony provides pretty much all of the score, which I thought was pretty cool. The cinematography is really nice. The camera moves great. It just looks really, really good. But really the problem I had with this movie, and it was actually like a huge problem, was the ending came out of nowhere. Like, it was just like, didn't... It wasn't that it came out of nowhere. I mean, as in like, it was surprising. Like, it just ended. Out of, I was like, that's it? Like, that was probably the feeling that I most had after watching the movie. I was just like, is that all? Because it was really, really good up until the very end. And that really, really brought it down for me. I don't have a ton to say about Grand Piano, but the acting was good, writing was good, everything was good. It was directed really well. I haven't seen any of uh, Eugenio's movies, but I'll look for some more after this because I did enjoy it. But the ending really did ruin it for me. But I think I'm going to give Grand Piano... Uh, I didn't think... I actually didn't even think my rating beforehand. I think I'll give it a B. So yeah, the ending really, really did kill it for me because it needed to be resolved in a much better way. Anyway, if you want to watch it, it's on On Demand. At least it was for me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.